Hello beautiful souls and welcome to this week's video where I am going to be counting down on my top 10 favourite crystals from my crystal collection. So let's get started. <music> I decided to do this video after putting up a poll on my Instagram story a while back on my old account which unfortunately has been hacked since so I can't actually show you the results of the poll but I'm pretty sure most of you said yes you would like to see some of my crystal collection so I thought why not start with my top 10 favorites which honestly was so hard for me as a Libran to pick 10 favorite crystals <laughs> Because all of these top 10 are my favourites, like I have all 10 as favourites, but obviously that's not how favourites work, you obviously have like one. <laughs> really hard as a Libra and I actually felt guilty about not having some of my crystals in these top 10 which is again the most Libra thing I think I've ever said. I felt guilty having to choose a favourite crystal. <laughs> these crystals don't know that I've chosen them, do they? Do they? Do they have feelings? Who knows? So I have chosen to rank these in order of aesthetic size and shape, rarity, and just their healing properties or how I connect with them. That's really kind of what helped me to choose which one is my top crystal because of the connection that I have. So let me know in the comments below which of these are your favorites and we can play along together because honestly I've probably changed my mind about three times before I actually put this video out but let's get started. Some of these crystals you will have seen before, some of them are going to be completely new to you because I haven't yet launched my next haul video so you guys won't have seen them. But coming in at number 10 is a firm favorite, one you guys have seen before, it's my enormous Aura Picasso Jasper. Wow, look at the shine there, I'm blinding you guys, sorry. This is the biggest tower I have, it's the biggest crystal that I have, and I think it's the most expensive crystal I bought as well, actually. None of the crystals I've ever bought have been over 100 pounds. Most of them are well under 50 or 30 pounds, but this little beauty, well, she's not even little, was definitely over 50 quid. Let's just put it that way. But I love her, she's amazing, and yeah, the only reason she's number 10 is because the aura coating is insane, and maybe it's just like a little bit too much. Coming in at number nine, I have two crystals for you because I genuinely couldn't choose between them. We have two flower agate and quartz or amethyst mixed spheres. Starting with this beauty, I'm hoping you can see that. I obviously will do close-ups of all of them. So this one is a new one to my collection and I actually got her in the sale from Girl Love Luna and I just love how milky she is, you'll see in the close-ups. She's just got like this really soft milky blue which I really, really like. I had actually been looking for a crystal exactly like this for quite a while, and when I found her, I was just like, oh my god, I have to have her in my collection. And I love her, and she's just got such calming vibes, which I love. You guys know, I love to feel calm and relaxed, so she definitely has that vibe I'm looking for. Then, joint ninth, I have another amethyst slash quartz flower agate, which is another sphere, and it's slightly smaller than the other one, but it's just as beautiful, and there's loads of flowers on this one, and I was like, I literally can't choose between these two. So I'm going to put them in as joint ninth because that's just fair. <laughs> Again, I'm being so Libra in this video, but that's the fairest thing I could think of was to put both of them together. But this one's beautiful. This is from Little Jam Corner, run by Wing. You guys will remember I've talked about her before. She's lovely. And yeah, I just loved this. I have been looking for a flower agate for ages and I saw this one and I was like, oh my God, this is absolutely meant to be because every other one I've been looking for had sold out. This one was just waiting for me. So I love, love both of these and having them in my collection. Please ignore my next door neighbor's dogs barking. They are so cute and I can't even be annoyed that they're gonna interrupt this video. <laughs> Okay, coming in at number eight is this beautiful smoky citrine freeform. You guys will remember this from a recent haul video I did. I love this crystal so much. I just love the rainbows. I love the weird freeform shape that it is. Like one side looks a bit like a pyramid. The other side just looks like this really like big window. I just think it's really, really cool. And it's really joyful. Every time I hold this crystal, every time I work with it, I just feel so happy. And I feel like it's really brought a lot of abundance into my life. So yeah, I couldn't not include this crystal in my top 10. Okay, coming in at number seven has to be my beautiful purple labradorite freeform. You guys will remember this one as well from my recent crystal haul, which was 
was my biggest crystal haul ever. I think I might have outdone that since, but <laughs> we'll see in my next haul video. But this crystal's gorgeous. I just feel like purple slash pink slash sunset labradorite is really expensive and really hard to get hold of. And I got this one for a really good deal in the sale. So I absolutely love her. She's kind of shy usually, but she's come across really purple in the close-ups that I've done for you guys. So obviously she's enjoying getting to know me and saying hello to everybody but she's beautiful and i think she's quite like she feels very third eye connected with the amount of purple that she has in her so yeah i'm really really enjoying connecting with her every day and she's on my altar like right across from my bed so i can see her every morning when i wake up just flashing at me which is sounds weird but it's really lovely <laughs> Okay, so bear with me on this one. This is the cutest little rose quartz, Mozambique rose quartz free form, and it's got so many rainbows in it that I couldn't not have this in my top 10. I love a good rainbow, and this one just is the coolest shape. It reminds me of, I had this like vegan box of chocolates one Christmas, and they were these weird geometric shapes, and it genuinely reminds me of that. So I've already got this good memory association with the shape. So yeah, I just, as soon as I ordered this from Little Gem Corner again, as soon as I ordered it, I just was like, oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful crystal. The shape is amazing. It's got loads of faceted sides and I really love just how massive and juicy that rainbow is right in the center there. So just pipping at the post with that previous freeform is my amethyst freeform, you guys will remember, which I got from Gypsy Wildflower. I love this freeform. I just love the clarity and the really pale, purpley, lilac-y color that this one has. I just I can't stop looking at it and it's on my altar obviously out of the sunlight because we don't want amethyst to fade uh, but it's so pretty I love looking at this one I love working with this one it's just got a really gentle feminine quality to it which I think is really nice so yeah I love this one I mean you can just see a little bit of the rainbow in this in the close-up it didn't come out as flashy as it really is but the light's really grey here today it's that beautiful July weather <laughs> you know where it's like grey and heavy and it's been raining <laughs> just what you want for summer okay we're moving into the top four now this was really really hard for me to decide on the top four and the top three actually changed probably four times because i was thinking i like this one i like that one i like the other but this definitely i really love and the reason that these are in my top four is that they are slightly on the rarer side or at least would be maybe a little bit harder to source them again or to get them for the prices that i did or the clarity that they are or the shape or the size so that's why they're in my top four so number four itself is my beautiful beautiful aura flat pointed quartz. You guys might remember this one. This is my second most expensive crystal, I think. And the only reason that this isn't like number one because it's such a rare shape is purely because on one side, when the aura coating was put on, it must've been wrapped up quite quickly afterwards. And there's like an imprint from the bubble wrap and it just really ruins for me the aesthetic of the crystal on that side which is such a shame so <laughs> that's the only reason it's not in the top three or at least number one because it's beautiful uh, but it's, as a crystal itself it's stunning and when the light catches it and it reflects around the room it creates these beautiful rainbow patterns just from the aura let alone from the flat the fact that it's you know a clear quartz but i love the shape of this one to me it's like this cool portal or doorway into another realm i think it's such a cool crystal and yeah i love using this one when i work with the acacia records it's so so cool if you ask me what do you guys think of this one okay so coming in at number three is my beautiful champagne citrine tower now the only reason that this is number three is because i think well i don't really know <laughs> Oh, I don't really know. There isn't really a reason. I really struggled to pick these top three. And I was trying to go off, you know, as I say, aesthetics, size, rarity, etc. Like healing power, blah, blah, blah. Um, but this one I have a really good connection to. So it's not even as if I can say like, oh, I don't connect to it that much. This is such a beautiful crystal. So I got this one from Claire de Lune and it's got a bit of damage to it. It was a discounted crystal because of that, which is fine for me. It still works. It still does what I want it to do. It's a very pale champagne color and it barely shows up on the camera it looks more like a clear quartz on the camera but it's really not like the shelf that i have it on you can just see this very soft very subtle yellow on it but i just can't catch that on camera for you guys this one has so many rainbows in it and again really shy she did not want to show those today and i tried really hard to get good lighting for you no she was like mm -mm, i'm not showing the world how shiny i am so <laughs> So you'll just have to trust me that she is actually filled with rainbows, but she's beautiful. I really like her energy. 
where my smoky citrine is quite powerful like in your face energy this one's really soft and really subtle which I quite like so I can still feel its presence I'm still aware of it on my altar and I see it every day when I walk past it but definitely this one is a bit more gentle and held back I guess with how powerful it really is okay coming in at number two can you guys guess what it is yes it is another citrine <laughs> This is fast becoming one of my favorites. So this one is beautiful. This is number two, purely because I do think it is really hard to get hold of citrine spheres, especially really clear ones with rainbows like this one is. I got this for a really good price. I mean, it wasn't cheap, but it was a lot cheaper than you would expect it to be for a rainbow citrine sphere. And I really like this one. I just feel so happy when I look at this one. I've meditated a few times with it and I just, I just feel like I have a really good connection to it. And it just is such a beautiful crystal and I love spheres at the moment. So I'm really enjoying where with this one so it had to come in at number two I, I couldn't really catch the rainbows again for this one all my citrines were really shy for this video <laughs> but this one's beautiful I really love this one okay so coming in at number one is a crystal you guys will not have seen yet and this is a beautiful polished Lemurian tower I got from Blissful Moon run by Sarah who's so sweet and this is honestly well it's been such a shock to me to have this one because I, I really just thought it was going to be a nice crystal and I was going to enjoy it but actually I've had the coolest visions with this one when I've meditated with it and I just think it's such a cool crystal it has a kind of leaf shape on the back which to me is just so beautiful and just really reminiscent of Lemurians but it's such a powerful crystal and I feel such a strong bond to it. I feel like it's part of me, if that makes sense. Like we are connected. So I know that sounds probably silly, but genuinely I feel such a good connection to this crystal, especially when I meditate with it or when I bring it with me when I'm doing client sessions and stuff. It just, it seems to give like a boost to the session, a boost to my intuition, which I love. So this one had to be number one because she is just, we're vibing. <laughs> I can explain it we're vibing we're getting on we're enjoying working with each other and I love when you have that good connection with the crystal so that is why she has come out number one so what do you guys think what is your favorite crystal out of my top 10 let me know in the comments below because I'd love to hear what you think do you have any of the crystals that I've mentioned and do you feel a special bond to them and are they in your top 10 I also have to make an honorary mention of this adorable Larimar sphere that I have because it's hard to place that like it should be in my top 10 in many ways I've more gone for the statement pieces for my top 10 really but this one is just so cute and such good quality for such a cheap price I think I paid $21.99 for it which I've seen others the same size for like £70 so genuinely I think this is a really really good price for this um, but it's so cute and I really like it it's not that it's not in my top 10 it's just that because I wouldn't put it as 11 because it's too cute to be 11 but it's like I couldn't fit it in anywhere <laughs> I just have too many favorites to fit it in. That is such a Libran thing to say. Yeah, too many favorites, but no, I love this one so much. So I just wanted to add that one in for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in next week's video. Man, I need a drink. I am thirsty and hungry. Okay, coming in in the top, f that's not how favorite works, like which unfortunately has been hacked ever since. Oh, I feel really low down. <laughs>